Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is a deep cleaning of my kitchen and it is also in collab with my friend Paige from Paige Danielle. If you don't know about her, she is so awesome. Her videos are amazing. She has lifestyle videos. Her cleaning videos are so good and she keeps it 100, is super sweet and I know you guys would love her. So make sure you check out her video after mine and subscribe to her channel. And if you're coming from her channel, Hello, my name is Julie and I would love for you to stick around and get to know us. Okay, so we're jumping right in. I got everything off my counters and then I grab my handheld vacuum and I'm just making sure I get any dust webs or dust that might be on top of my cabinets and on top of my fridge. Once that's done, I'm grabbing my German chamois, you guys know I love these, and my Miss Myers multi-surface spray, and I'm just gonna start by wiping the top of the fridge. Then I'm gonna move on to the cabinets, and for the cabinets, I am using the Miss Myers spray. So I'm spraying them with that, wiping them down with the chamois, and then drying that off with a microfiber towel or any type of towel you have. And then I'm going back and spraying them with my seven generation wood cleaner. And this is just to give them a nice shine. So I first do the multi-surface cleaner just to get rid of any build up grease or anything. You guys know how the cabinets get in the kitchen. So I do that first and then I make sure that's dry. And then I go in with the wood cleaner just to give it a nice shine. Just in case you guys are wondering who I'm talking to, I am talking to my daughter who is in the playpen. I'm actually singing to her because it keeps her entertained. So yeah, don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> Once I'm done with my cabinets, I am moving to my microwave. I got all the pieces out and then I'm grabbing a sponge with some soap and just scrubbing it inside. And then with my German chamois damp, I'm just wiping everything down. Once everything is wiped down, I am using my glass cleaner concentrate from Grove to clean the glass and then I'm moving to the outside part of the microwave. On the outside, again, I am using the glass cleaner for the glass part and then the stainless steel spray just to clean everything else. Last, to finish the microwave, all I do is wash the parts that I took out with just soap and water. So for this video, I'm not going to be cleaning out all my cabinets just because they are pretty organized and I actually just got rid of a bunch of like dishes and mugs and all that to give to the Goodwill. So I will be cleaning this cabinet because it's filled with my seasonings and those tend to get messy. So I'm just taking everything down, wiping it down with my multi-surface cleaner and then just putting everything back in. Moving on to my counters, all I'm doing is cleaning them how I usually clean them and that is by using my multi-surface cleaner and my damp German chamois and wiping everything down. I'm also wiping down the walls just to get rid of anything that might be splattered on them or anything. They are actually not that bad but I'm just wiping them down because it is a deep cleaning. But once that's done, I also go ahead and dry the counter with a dry towel just 
to make sure there's no streaks and it's nice and shiny once that's done I'm just putting everything back and I'm showing you my teamy tea which I just started taking so I leave it in this little basket so I don't forget to take it every morning and every night I do have a coupon code if you guys are interested in the description box it's just a 30 day detox so yeah I figured I'll share that with you guys because I know you probably asked me so now that the counter is clean I am grabbing my coffee maker and I'm just taking it over to the sink and washing all the parts for it so once I wash all the pieces that come off I'm just taking my chamois and just wiping everything else down I love how small this coffee maker is and how easy it is to clean as opposed to my old Keurigs that were a pain in the butt to clean. This one is just super easy to clean and it's been working so good. It is in the description box if you guys are interested. Um, but once that's all clean, I just wipe it down and put it back in place. Moving on to the other side of the counter, again, I am just doing the same thing spraying it with the multi-surface cleaner and then just wiping everything down i'm also wiping down the bottom of the cabinets and then i'm just gonna go ahead and dry everything with a towel and now i'm just wiping down my knife cube and everything else that goes on here also don't forget to wipe down the side of the fridge because even though you don't think food might reach that far it always does <laughs> so I'm just wiping it down with the microservice cleaner and then just drying it off with a towel so I could just put everything back that was on there on that counter I also keep Penelope's little drying rack for her bottles and everything of hers so I'm just bringing it over to the dish and giving it a quick wash because even though it's only water that drains in there it gets really yucky so I try to do this at least once a week Moving on to the stove, I'm starting by taking these little guys off and then I am using my Four Monks vinegar spray which I find at Walmart and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray that on the top of the stove as well as the buttons that I just took off. So while I let the vinegar soak in for a little bit, I am just using my multi-surface cleaner and German chamois to wipe down the rest of the stove and then I'm also wiping down the bottom of the cabinets that I forgot to do and also the bottom of the microwave or like the stove range um, I try to do this every night after dinner so it doesn't get bad I think it's a really good thing to do because it could get really bad if you don't wipe it down often so once I'm done with all that I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe down the stove and get rid of the vinegar and then go back in with the multi-surface cleaner and wipe it again and then once that's done I'll go and make sure that it's dry and once everything is dry I'll polish the stainless steel with the stainless steel spray and then I'm gonna go ahead and polish the glass top with the glass top polish To polish my glass top I like to use paper towels because number one I feel like they give me a better result than a towel and number two I just feel like if I use a towel for this then I can't use it for anything else so it's kind of a waste because this is the only thing that I'm polishing with that so I like to just use a paper towel. Moving on to the oven, again I'm going to use that vinegar spray and just spray the whole door which is pretty greasy at the moment. And while that soaks in, I'm just starting to clean the cabinets right here at the bottom the same way that I cleaned the ones at the top. I'm also going to go ahead and clean the interior of this side of the cabinet just because there was some type of powder there, I don't know what was spilled but I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it so I'm vacuuming it first and then just wiping it down with my German chamois and the spray and then just putting everything back in. 
So once this is done, I'm moving to the other side of the cabinets before I go back to the oven. I am not cleaning the interior of the oven today because for that I usually use the easy off which you just spray, leave it for a couple hours and then wipe it down. And I guess I ran out. I thought I had it at home but I didn't. So I'm just going to go ahead and take care of the door of the oven which is actually super nasty as you could see. I am using this baking soda cream cleaner from Miss Myers and I'm just putting that on top of the vinegar spray that was already in there and I'm using one of these stainless steel sponges put in a little elbow grease and just scrubbing everything down and then I'm just grabbing a regular sponge just to wipe everything down and I'm telling you this will take care of any grease that you might have so the baking soda cream cleaner and the vinegar together are like miracle workers guys like I promise you look how good it looks I'm just finishing it off by using the glass cleaner but you could tell how shiny it is compared to what it was now to clean the outside of the oven I am just doing the same thing that I've been doing throughout the whole video spraying it with the multi-surface cleaner wiping it down drying it off and then I'm using the stainless steel spray to polish the stainless steel and then using the glass cleaner to polish the glass part of the oven Moving on to my island, I also have some cabinets here, so I'm just going to go ahead and take care of these guys, as well as my dishwasher, which is just stainless steel, so I'm just spraying it with the multi-surface cleaner and then just polishing it with the stainless steel spray. Guys, I'm really sorry if I'm just repeating myself, but I feel like I just follow a pattern throughout my cleaning. So it's just the same thing over and over. And I really want to just tell you what I am doing as I'm doing it. But I just feel like if I keep saying the same thing, you guys are going to get sick of it. <laughs> Moving on to the most dreaded part of cleaning my kitchen is cleaning my fridge. I must confess that I do not clean my fridge as often as I should because I hate it. Is anybody else with me? It like sucks. <laughs> so once the fridge is all empty, I am using a little bit of the multi-surface spray and spraying the top shelf. And then with whatever I have left over of the spray on my German chamois, I'm just wiping down the rest of the shelves. So all I'm doing is wiping them down with the damp chamois and then going back in with the towel and drying it off so it doesn't leave any streaks. Penelope came to visit me for a quick hug and a kiss. She's so cute. But now we're back to business so I got these acrylic bins at Marshalls the other day for five bucks and I'm using one of them to put all of Penelope's little spoon food and also all her yogurts and then the other one I am using to put our yogurts and also some fruit so I started putting everything back in the fridge but then decided to move on to the shelves these shelves you could actually take off from the door and wash them under the sink but they are not that dirty so I'm just wiping them down with the German chamois and putting everything back in them. So now that I'm done with my fridge, I'm going to go ahead and wash my egg holder which is also like one of those acrylic um, containers. I've been having this one so I'm just giving it a quick wash. I'm using a new sponge because the other sponge I used to clean the oven so I just got rid of that one and got a new one. So I'm washing the egg holder and I'm also going to go ahead and wash the drawers from the fridge.
Once the drawer is dry, I'll go ahead and lay some paper towel at the bottom. I always do this just to keep any juices from getting stuck to the drawer or anything like that. I always, always lay a piece of paper towel before I put everything back in. For my last drawer, which is kind of like my cheese drawer, I'm just wiping it down because it's way too big to fit in my sink so I'm just I put some water with um, the hose and then I'm just wiping it down and then I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe down where that door lays and there was actually a spill there which I have no idea where it came from or who did it but I could only imagine <laughs> I'm actually not cleaning the freezer just because we went to Sam's Club last week and we got so much stuff to put in the freezer that I had to end up emptying the whole thing out so I just went ahead and wiped it down and put everything back in so I was not going to do it again because I already hate doing it so I was not going to do it twice. <laughs> Once I'm done polishing the fridge, I'm moving on to my pantry, which actually needed to be cleaned out so bad. So I'm just going to go ahead and get everything out, wipe down the shelves, and then go through all the stuff that need to be thrown out or that are just empty boxes that Tone hasn't taken out or any junk food that might be in there because I'm starting a workout program too and I don't need all this temptation in here. I realized after that clip that my pantry was really really empty so I went ahead and got my ring light and this shelf is where we keep all of our snacks and pretty much everything we eat so I'm just taking everything completely out of there putting it on my counter wiping down the shelf and then I'm just gonna go ahead and go through everything that I took out and get rid of any empty boxes anything that's bad any type of junk and just put everything back in place nicely and put them back on the shelves. I do have an organization video on how I organize my pantry if you guys want to check it out. I love the way that I organized it with these baskets and just acrylic containers because it definitely does make life easier and it does help us keep like some type of organization in the pantry. So if you guys want to check it out, I will link it down below. Here I'm also emptying out the bottom of the pantry and just reorganizing all my storage bags and all of that so I could go ahead and vacuum down here and put everything back in. Once I'm done with all the shelves and everything is put back in place and organized, I'm just going to go ahead and vacuum the bottom part of the pantry and put everything back in nice and organized. Back in the kitchen I am gonna go ahead and clean my sink. I'm gonna start by washing this little caddy which I get so many questions about. It is always linked in the description box for you guys. It's always there for you so make sure you check that out. So I'm just washing that with my sponge and some soap and water. I'm also gonna go ahead and scrub the sink with some soap and water before I clean it with anything else. After I scrub the sink with soap and water I'm using this Bon Amy powder which is kind of like a stainless steel polisher and cleaner I'm just putting that all over the sink and letting it sit I'm also spraying the tiniest bit of Clorox cleanup down the drain just to get rid of any bacteria that might be in there and I'm spraying my faucet with some of the vinegar spray and also some of the baking soda cream just to get rid of any hard water marks on it and just make it nice and shiny so then to get rid of those products i'm just using my damp a chamois and just wiping the whole faucet and everything that i put products on down and then i'm moving back to the sink just using my sponge to work in all that powder that i put on it make sure you get everything nice and scrubbed and then I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse that off and again when you're rinsing this you want to make sure that you're rinsing it really good and working it with your hands because if you don't then it might leave some residue in the sink and 
it won't look pretty <laughs> but once that's done all I'm doing is cleaning my little tray that holds my soaps also the bottom of the soaps because they could get really yucky even though I clean this all the time and then just to finish the sink all I'm doing is drying it off with a towel because I feel like it just leaves it so nice and polished and I know it won't last long because I'm sure there's gonna be some type of dish here in the next five minutes but it just makes me feel good <laughs> now to pretty much finish my kitchen cleaning I am just gonna go ahead and wipe down my island the same way that I always do it I wipe this island every day so I just pretty much do the same thing as I been doing the whole video spray with the multi-surface cleaner even though this time I'm using the mint just because I was using the peony everywhere else and then I just go ahead and dry it with a dry towel and that's pretty much it okay so here I'm getting a new piece of German chamois they come in these huge sheets as you guys could tell and then you could just cut them whatever size you want that's one thing I love about them and they last forever but this old one I think is ready to retire so the last thing I'm cleaning with it is the garbage right here that I sprayed with some multi-surface cleaner and then I just threw it out <laughs> and then I'm just drying the garbage and moving on to vacuuming now you're gonna see Penelope who loves the vacuum she just wants to follow me around when I'm vacuuming she thinks it's so fun and when I use this attachment on my vacuum I act like I'm vacuuming her legs and she just cracks up it's so cute so I'm just letting her hang out for a little bit before I put her in her walker because if not I won't be able to vacuum <laughs> So here I'm just vacuuming the whole kitchen area and I'm just peeling it up because you guys have seen me vacuum a million times and it's not like I'm doing anything differently except that I have Penelope in back of me in her little walker which I think looks so funny but so cute. <laughs> Okay, so before I mop, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Miss Myers Vinegar Gel Cleanser and I'm using this damp sponge, putting some of the product on there and then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down all the baseboards in the kitchen with that. So this is a no rinse gel, so you don't need to do anything else. So all I'm doing is kind of wiping down the baseboards and then grabbing a dry towel and just drying them off. And the baseboards are not really that bad, but I do feel like you need to clean them really often so they stay nice and clean. I did kind of vacuum them beforehand when I was vacuuming them with my little brush attachment just to get any dust off of them. And if I see there's anything stuck to them or, you know, any splatters or anything, I just use the harder part of the sponge. But other than that, I'm just using the soft side of the sponge and wiping everything down and then just drying it off with the towel. You also don't have to use a lot of product for this. You just put a little bit on the sponge as you see you might need it, but you really don't need a lot. And as you could tell, I'm using whatever leftover product that's on the sponge on the walls if I see any little marks on them or anything like that. But once I'm done with that, the kitchen is squeaky clean and all I have left to do is mop the floor and I am mopping it with the same Thing that I've been mopping lately which is really hot water with a little bit of the Miss Myers dish soap and some of that vinegar spray which I absolutely love because it's a natural disinfectant for Penelope now that she's crawling all over the place and the dish soap just smells so good that it kind of like masks the smell of the vinegar but that's it I'm just mopping the whole kitchen area and then we're all done and again, I'm just speeding it up really quick because you guys have seen me mop a million times and I don't think I'm doing it any differently than anybody else. So I'm just putting it really quick. Okay guys, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you check out Paige's video and subscribe to her channel because I know you love her. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.